Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and a Fox News panel absolutely erupted, and one liberal got destroyed for making a ridiculous statement. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things, especially with an election coming, really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So, The Five has always been a hotbed for controversy and hot you know, segments. And one of the reasons is liberal co-host Jessica Tarlov, who continuously says the most wacky things. Wacky. I try sometimes to find a nice word to not be mean. Wacky. She has these wacky theories. Well, she unveiled one of her wacky theories during an episode of The Five, after the Robert Hur special counsel uh, testimony on Tuesday. And so what happened was she just got bombarded by Janine Pirro, by Dana Perino, by Greg Gutfeld. She got attacked and she got destroyed and she got taken to school because, I mean, her, her whole premise was ridiculous. She had no evidence to make the accusation she made against Trump and the Republicans and what happened with her. And, and it, was, it was not okay. But that's what liberals do. They spread propaganda. I want you to watch this clip and then give me your thoughts. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Jessica, he did really? it because he, I thought it was. I thought everything was interesting, although I did zone out for a while. Uh, but it is pretty clear that Joe treated the documents the way Hunter treats drugs. Just leaves him everywhere. What do you think? I don't think anything that anyone else at this table thinks, actually. Um, good, uh, good getting Hunter in on this, yes. though. I'm glad that we uh, brought that full circle. <laughs> yes. This hearing actually started last night. We couldn't watch it at that point, but the news broke that Robert Hur was going to be appearing as a private citizen mm -hmm. and not as a member of the Department of Justice or as a special counsel. And what is Robert Hur when he's a private citizen? He's a Republican. And what did Robert Hur get? He got coaching from Trump world. That seems pretty suspicious to me. If you were going into a hearing where you want to seem above board and nonpartisan, why are you getting counseled by the former president's people? And why aren't you showing up as a, represent, a representative of the Department of Justice? Thank God the Dems didn't do Is that it? with Jan 6 or anything well, else. I, I missed that. Yeah, well, I, I did too. Who coached really? Him? Well, who you want to see you? all the articles? Well, who coached Sarah, him? Yeah. Sarah Isker is one of the people who coached him. She's now an ABC analyst. She's a Republican. She, I saw the only thing I saw on Twitter was her saying that's not true. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Independent, all of these sort, the Hill, all of these sources the are wrong. Oh my God! Really? That's the not, Hill. The no, all these articles. I mean, so all I know yeah, is I have, I didn't private... see. How come nobody brought that up? You're bringing right. it up. I, I don't know why no one brought that up, but it was the biggest story that was circulated. They would have brought it up. Right. Why? Okay, so he was there not as a private citizen now. No, I'm okay. not saying no, he that. Wasn't. Okay, so, yeah. what, I, no, what I didn't hear and I totally missed is that Trump world coached him. Okay. And you're saying Sarah Isker. I'm saying the only thing I saw was Sarah Isker saying, because I follow her, okay. that she's saying, so, that is not true. Right. But I've okay. not talked to any of them. Mm. I, well, wait Did we get version. off track here? No. No, this is important. Okay. Well, the GOP always goes in, going into these hearings, they always bank on the fact that Democrats haven't read the report or they're not going to use specific citations. And Robert Hur contradicted himself over and over again. Page six, he says, innocent explanation for the documents. Page 12, they could have been brought there by mistake. Page 12, the decision to decline criminal charges was straightforward. The GOP is going wild over this story about the ghostwriter and the classified information, and that is the will for retention. But on page 10, he says the evidence doesn't show that Biden knew they were classified. No. And then on page he 245, it. it's written in ink that the evidence falls short that this was willful, willfully retaining the documents. He specifically classified documents. said, be careful, that's classified. He said that. Then why the does the report not say that? He Jessica. also notes that he has a photographic memory. Who? Her says that oh, about Biden uh, in the Biden transcript. Biden has a photographic memory. Yes, he I'm does. Oh and then God. Eric Swalwell in his questioning says, why didn't you put that in the report? Go to Dana. Can I get to it? Oh, yes, whatever you Jesse want. Whatever you want. Yes, Dana. Don't, don't say that to me, Dana. Um, <laughs> what do you make of this? Okay. Um, I think it's.